bed just had given me something else, and I can't remember the lady's name at the moment, but she said, and we got you this Juliet Lowe bust, because you has been this, she has been that, you, so I'm still a has been. <laughs> <laughs> and grateful for it. <laughs> Chances are I don't need the mic, and I certainly don't have enough time to reminisce, but I will try to do it. My Girl Scouting started 50 years ago. This year I get my 50-year pin. I was a Girl Scout one year as a child. I always remember earning the wildflower badge, which is not easy when you live in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> um, you have to look hard to find the wildflowers. And then I earned a personal fitness badge. That's the only two I ever earned. But then I was fortunate enough, my oldest child is a girl. So by golly, I couldn't wait till she was a second grader and I could go play Girl Scouts. And I knew better than to have brownies. <laughs> Some of you have known me well enough to know that I have been known to say I'd have killed them all in the first week. So I never had brownies. But by the time she got to be a junior, oh, I was raring to go. So her troop is where I started, and because it's hard to say otherwise, I was always known as Mrs. B. <laughs> so I've been Mrs. B for a lot, a lot of years, as you can tell by the shirt. Now that troop got a little older and a little older, and they wanted to be Mariner Girl Scouts. And we don't have any Mariners here, which always sort of amazed me because we have less water around us. The Mariner Girl Scouts had their own pin, which you can look at later. It's a wheel and a Girl Scout pin in the middle of it. And this was their shirt. Their name was M.S. Aquila, who were the Latin students in the crowd. The beans, water. Water. an eagle. Water. And the reason it's named after an eagle was because we were incorporated the year that they landed on the moon. 1969. So my Girl Scout troop was Mariner Ship Aquila. And they were wonderful girls. Got them all the way through seniors. Now both of my Girl Scouts, my own Girl Scouts, both my daughters, are first class Girl Scouts. Those of you that are younger don't know about first class Girl Scouts. Those of you that are older do. That was um, the designation before there were bronze, silver, and gold awards. So that's, so I saw somebody with a first class pin on earlier, or maybe it's on that uniform back there. Anyway, some number of years ago, both of those girls honored me with a life membership. So I proudly wear a life membership in Girl Scouting, and I'm pleased with that. I've been privileged to serve on boards in both Milwaukee and in Savannah. I've been to three national meetings as a delegate and have enjoyed them. It's a wonderful thing to be able to do, to serve in that way. My Girl Scouts, when they were seniors, my older daughter had gone on a water opportunity. And she came back with a, it was in Virginia, fancy little bonnet. And we, my girls loved it so that we decided that when we bridged our cadets into our troop, that we were bridged them with a sunbonnet. <laughs> so all of my girls wore sunbonnets. And that was a fun thing to do as well. So when I was in Milwaukee, we did a lot of hiking, and we did a lot of interaction with sea explorers. And they were mariners, so we had a lot of events on, on Lake Michigan together. Dances, on piers, competitions, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, we uh, hiked trails in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan. We do all that. It was a very active troop. And then after I moved down here, I wanted to continue this kind of thing. So my younger daughter by this time was a junior. I got her through juniors and cadets. And by the time I had those seniors, we hiked on the Appalachian Trail. We went to the Virgin Islands one year. Valerie Kehoe's daughter was a, um, an alternate for a trip that I made to New York to the 25th World Conference. 
Wow. at which we met delegates from all over the world, and we performed as Lowe's Echoes. <laughs> and Lowe's Echoes was the logo that we chose for our girls because they actually did present at this big affair um, the story of Juliet's founding of the Girl Scouts. And I always remember that one of our fathers was kind enough to make us an old-fashioned phone. We still have that thing hanging around. But anyway, that was that shirt. And Lowe's Echoes, um, I took them to the conference, which was at Edith Macy, which is north of New York City, and then four days in New York City. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I will, because it's a fun story. <laughs> <laughs> we got there, and they wanted to go see a play, so ahead of time, we had bought tickets for what was then a uh, chorus line, a very exciting play. Now, some of you may know, girls are listening, but I'll turn it off anyway. There is a song in that particular show. I've got a smile over here. She knows the song. I'm not going to tell you what it is because there's too many girls around, but I will tell you that I had one girl call home that night, and I had a phone call the next morning. How dare I take them to see a play that had some two charming words and it referred to top and bottom and you can think of the rest. <laughs> and um, I said, well, first of all, they were all ninth graders and I figured it wasn't the first time they'd heard this. <laughs> so, not to worry. And they're all quite good Girl Scouts still, so it really wasn't bad. It turned out okay. And then, Let's see, what else have I been privileged to do? I've been an outdoor trainer. I am a master trainer, primarily outdoors, um, although I've done most of the other things too. But Peggy Tootin and I have trained a great many Girl Scouts. Girl Scout leaders, we've done a lot. I remember one time we were over at Blythe Island, and it was a really bad rainstorm. <laughs> And Peggy and I decided to sleep in the back of the truck. And uh, the leader said, how come you get to sleep in a truck? And told them we slept in tents many, many times. We knew how. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> that night we slept in tents. It probably wasn't fair, but, but we did anyway. And uh, so I, I'll, you can look at these later. I'm wearing the, the more important pins that I own. One is a Macy lamp. When you go to Macy, Center. Um, it is primarily for a training event. I've been there twice for I have basic lamps. I'm the proud wearer of an international event. You only get that pin when you attend an international event, and that was when I went up to the World Conference. I have a 45-year pin. I hope they're going to give me a 50-year this year. Better. <laughs> and I have one of two thanks badges. I I uh, received one from my senior troop when I left Milwaukee, and then I received one a number of years ago from Savannah Council, so I have a thanks badge too. And then some of you will recall that a few years ago, how long ago, Nancy, we had Russian scouts here. And so I have a very neat pin, this great big thing here, which was to commemorate the time that we had Russian boys and girls here visiting and we camped up at Lowe and we had some wonderful times with them. They were very interesting. Nancy has been over to see them and so she can tell you about that if you're interested. I'm still waiting to go to St. Petersburg. Is she part with all the guests? Yeah, there you go. And I also wear proudly a Scottish pin which was given to me by a very dear friend of mine who is a guide leader in Scotland and we exchanged pins. Um, and then I have a little boat pin. You can't see it from there, but you can look at them later. And that is from Olaf House, which is an international center in London. And I have been there. So, and I've been a senior advisor. So, see, I told you, I've has been. I have been this and have been that. And um, so, you know, those are fun things that I have done in scouting, and probably the most exciting things are times when I've interacted with girls. Holler at me when you're on the quiz, because you know I'll never shut up. I'm near holler at me. Okay. <laughs> All right, one story. All right. <laughs> I was in Utah doing some hiking and a few years ago and stopped at a mall uh, on our way to wherever it was we were going, and there were some Girl Scouts selling Girl Scout cookies. And 
I said I never, in the famous line of mine, I never met a Girl Scout I didn't love. And that's very true. I never have. And these little girls were so excited. And so I exchanged addresses with them. And when I came back, I sent them information about the birthplace and about other things in our council. They've not yet been able to make the trip, but they're now seniors and they're working on it. So, I, Girl Scouts, no matter where you go or how, I was in Israel recently and I wore my 100th anniversary pin. And lots of people asked and I said, I'm proud to tell you, 100th anniversary and it's exciting. So, stick with it. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys and it you know, something new every time you do something. Milan gets me out to camp every summer and even though I hate the heat, I go because I love those girls. So bless your heart. Keep it going. Thank you. All right.